Hi there, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be creating some strawberry themed birthday cards using brand new stamps, dies, pattern paper, all of the good stuff from the Lawn Fawn Spring 2022 release. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I cannot wait to just share all of the cards I have created with this release. It is so, so good. So as they, as Lawn Fawn is pretty known to do here, they came out with the reveal wheel several years ago, which is one of my all time favorite interactive die sets, which I know I've mentioned multiple times. Today, we're gonna to be using the strawberry add-on for this. This is the Reveal Wheel Strawberry Add-on and I'm using it with the Reveal Wheel set. I'm going to die cut that from some, from some smooth white cardstock and then we're gonna create some components. Now, I do have some things created off to the side here. Um, I had stamped and colored several things several weeks ago. I'm going to be doing like two sets because we're going to be doing two cards today. In addition to the reveal wheel with the strawberry add-on that I just die cut, I also die cut the new fruit basket at the same time as well as some additional strawberries and things like that which we'll talk about here in a minute. Now on my background for the reveal wheel panel, um, I want to talk about that first. I decided for this card that I would use stencils to add the decorative background. We're going to start by using a grassy hillside stencil and I'm going to kind of layer that over the bottom of my panel and tape it in place with a little temporary adhesive and then we're going to take the cloudy stencil on top of that and go ahead and ink up some clouds. I'm using the Marine Positively Saturated Ink, no, I think I'm actually using Cadet, uh, Positively Saturated Ink from Simon Says Stamp with the Lawn Fawn Cloudy Stencil to create this beautiful blue sky background at the top of my card. One of the reasons I opted to do stencils for the background and for building this scene was to keep the layers to a minimum. The reveal wheel will be popped up with foam adhesive. If you've caught any of my reveal wheel videos in the past, you know that you really should pop it up to make that interactive reveal wheel move a little easier. And then there's a lot of parts and pieces that I'm placing on top of the card. So I felt like by using stencils for the background that would keep some of the layers to a minimum and still provide an amazing decorative scene in the background. After I have inked up my cloudy sky, I'm going to take that same grassy hillside stencil and I'm going to just move it up and use it as a mask to mask off the sky now. So I use the top edge to mask off the bottom. Then I'm going to move the this, this stencil up and use the bottom edge to mask off the sky and apply some green inks to that bottom edge. Again, I'm using some positively saturated inks. I'm using Sprout and Fairway here, and I will repeat the greenery borders along the bottom edge of my card design for a little bit of a layered look. I'm just gonna go in, I decided to go back in with the darker ink. And I am totally think I told you guys the wrong colors of ink. I'm so, so sorry. I forgot what I was using. I actually used the brand new Spring and Lucky colors. So Spring and Lucky. And there is our great little background. Isn't that fun? Now, the strawberry kind of feels like it's up in the middle of the sky, right? Uh, hanging out. It's a little bit weird, but I promise I have a plan for that because we're going to build this fruit basket filled with strawberries. It's going to be tall enough that it's almost like this strawberry reveal wheel is at the top of the basket. And then we're going to have two cute little mice on either side, like 
holding the strawberry. One of them will be, look like he's kind of reaching out to touch the strawberry or something like that. You can definitely die cut the fruit basket from a solid color of cardstock if you'd like. I die cut mine from smooth white cardstock and then I'm coloring it in with Copic markers. I have listed all of the Copic markers I am using for today's video down in the description below the video here on YouTube as well as over on my blog post. There is a link to that right underneath um, in the description box as well if you would like to check that out there. Once I have my little berry basket all colored in, or fruit basket I guess it's called, and imagine using this with any of the fruit images or really anything from Lawn Fawn. There are so many fun things you can tuck in this basket. You could even turn it into a little Easter basket if you wanted to. It is really versatile. I think it's kind of a very fun addition to this release. I'm going to take the great little berries here and I have to say this is probably one of my very favorite products from the spring release. This is called Strawberry Patch and I have die cut all of the strawberries and greenery from Smooth White cardstock and colored them in with Copic markers. Um, you may not see me color them right here at the beginning, but anytime I'm coloring a strawberry in today's video, it's going to be with this color combination and I will be sharing the coloring of these a little bit later. Now I die cut a bunch of these strawberries because I really want to fill the whole basket. I don't want you to look through and see the sky and the grass. I want you to look at it and see a basket full of berries. I also already have stamped and colored some of the mice here for today's card. These are from the Berry Special Stamp Set. Again, another very favorite product from this release. Let's go back to our Reveal Wheel Strawberry add-on. These are the templates for that. And I am simply going to very lightly on the Reveal Wheel mechanism trace the strawberry shape and then I'm going to color it in with Copic markers. So remember I was just talking about the die, strawberry die cuts that I colored. It's the same exact color combination. I chose to do it this way as this really worked well for me. You can definitely do anything you want to here, but this is gonna give a nice little defined strawberry shape. It's almost like a no line coloring or is a no line coloring basically. Um, I will tell you I tried to do it without tracing at first, like just tracing with my marker through the template did not work very good. So uh, the little light pencil line definitely worked better. I didn't even bother erasing the pencil line because once I add in R35, it's pretty dark and I really didn't feel like you could see the pencil line that much. In the templates or stencils for the Strawberry Reveal Wheel add-on, there are two options, one for three strawberries and one for four. I picked the, picked the three strawberries. We're gonna use the faces from the How You Bean Strawberries add-on. Again, I love that Lawn Fawn keeps adding add-ons to this great collection. I think it's really fun. It's one of my all-time favorites. And I will have a card with that a little bit later. Look how cute that's gonna look. I like to double check my window. So I felt like I probably blended it out a little too much. I'm just gonna go back in and add a little more color. And I'm simply going to repeat this until I have all three of my strawberries colored in. We're just gonna blend. I did find I liked my strawberries best, whether I'm coloring them here, coloring in the mice images, or coloring in the die cuts. If I would kind of color them once and then go back with my darkest two colors and add a little bit more because I feel like it just blends out and gets a little too light, but it's completely personal preference. And we'll do our last one really quick. Now for the Strawberry Reveal Wheel add-on, in addition to the die cut window and the, temp the stencil add-ons, 
With the die cut window, you get the die cut, which we die cut from the reveal wheel, and then you get a strawberry frame and then the greenery that goes on top of the strawberry. So I traced out the little, it's a little thin outline. You can see it there on my uh, work table. I colored that with R35. And then the top of the strawberry, I'm going to color with G0002 and 09. And that's going to be for any of the greenery that you see in today's video. Next, I'm going to take some of the white die cuts and get a plan for how many of these I want to incorporate into my fruit basket, as well as kind of see how many of the mice images do I want to use? Is there gonna be room for my sentiment? I'm laying out all the components at this point and really just gauging what I'm gonna use and what I may not use for my cart. I also took this opportunity to stamp and emboss sentiments from the How You Bean Strawberries add-on along the bottom edge of the panel with clear embossing ink and heat embossed with white embossing powder. I stamped the sign from the Berry Special Stamp Set on Smooth White Cardstock, colored it in with some Copic markers in E55 and E57, stamped it with one of the phrases that fits within that little berry sign, and die cut it with the coordinating die. Now we're gonna take the faces from the How You Bean Strawberries add-on and lay those right on our strawberries. This is going to make the reveal wheel, when you turn it, change the face of the strawberry up in the upper part of the card. Again, I can't stress enough how much I absolutely love the reveal wheel from Lawn Fawn. It continues to be one of my all-time favorite interactive type dies. Once we have the cute faces, I love the little face with the tongue sticking out. We'll take our R35 marker and color that in, and we can add additional detail if we want to. Um, to our strawberries, I think I maybe added some little white dots to their cheeks and things like that when I'm all finished. So there's what it's going to look like back behind that strawberry opening in our reveal wheel. I'm going to go ahead and temporarily tape my reveal wheel to the back of my panel with a little post-it tape, just like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and just trace around the opening of my reveal wheel and glue the frame down in place, just like so, which really gives a nice clean edge. You can use it or not. It's definitely up to you. And then I'm going to take the little greenery topper and glue that on top. And you wanna make sure that you don't get adhesive on the strawberry itself, that it's only on the front card panel of your reveal wheel. I use acrylic blocks to help hold everything flat. While the glue is drying there, I am gonna go ahead and assemble my strawberries. So for these great strawberry patch strawberries. There is the front panel, which I colored with Copic markers, and then there's the solid panel, which I also colored with a dark gray Copic marker, and that's going to show through as black seeds on the strawberry. Just like so. It gives a nice high contrast. You could also just leave it plain white if you wanted to. And then I went ahead and put a put an acrylic block on top of those to help hold that flat while the glue dries. I'm going to place a little mini brad through the small circle of the reveal wheel as well as the large reveal wheel on the back and then I'm going to put foam adhesive on the small wheel only. I will link to another video down below that goes over more in depth how to assemble the reveal wheel. Then we're gonna remove the adhesive from the back of that, and that will make the reveal wheel attached to the back of a back panel. This is a panel that I die cut with the reveal wheel die, and it perfect will line up perfectly with our front panel. I'm gonna place foam adhesive all the way around my reveal wheel, making sure it doesn't touch. 
remove the backing paper from all of these little foam adhesive squares, and then we can pop our reveal wheel cover right on top, just like so. And then when you spin the reveal wheel, it changes out the strawberry. Let's go ahead and assemble our fruit basket little bowl here. And I am going to go, I know I've sped the video up, but I kind of went slow and careful, if that makes sense. Um, I tried not to add too much glue, and then I would use my reverse tweezers to clamp and hold it in place as needed. But I want to leave like some of the leaves free so that I can tuck additional things underneath. Um, I want to layer the strawberries. I want to layer additional greenery. I want this fruit basket to be really full. So you will see that I will assim or assemble, I will apply a little bit of liquid glue here and there, but I do try to keep it to a minimum. There's a little extra greenery, and then I want to find ways to just really fill the fruit basket full of strawberries. Oh my gosh, it's looking so cute. I love these. I don't know about you guys, but I am just loving the whole strawberry theme and all the different products in this release. So I'm only applying glue here and there. And then I want to make sure that the basket is tall enough that it appears that our reveal wheel strawberry is kind of coming up out the top of the basket, just like so. And then I put a bunch of acrylic blocks on top to help hold that liquid glue in place and hold that nice and flat while it dried. Um, I forgot to stick my sign in the basket, which I truly think is maybe one of my favorite parts of this. So I'm going to just do that really quick. And then to finish it all off, I've got one little berry outside of the basket down here along the bottom. I'm going to pop it up with foam adhesive. And then I want to start adding my mice. Now, th I know these are already colored and die cut, but I do want to note that for the second card, I will show you how I colored these in. Something else I really wanted to make note of here is that these mice were actually uh, die cut with the scan and cut, and the, the images for the second card were die cut with the coordinating dies. I just really wanted to kind of show um, how that worked either way. For the background of my card, I am going to be using some of the new pattern paper from the spring 2022 release. This is Gotta Have Gingham Rainbow 6x6 six six inch petite paper pack. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I used a large stitched rectangle die to die cut my panel. I stamped it with a reveal wheel sentiment that says, turn me, it's probably my all time favorite when doing the reveal wheel. And I found that the plaid background is so much more interesting on this top fold card base than what the white would have been. I think it just really shows off this sweet little scene perfectly. Now, as much as I love my card here, I had one more mouse, and I can kind of see it over there to the right on my uh, card, but I feel like I need another mouse up tall or uh, up high, so I will be adding one more mouse, but I'm spinning my reveal wheel and adding those little white dots to the strawberry's cheeks. I added a little black glaze pen to the eyes on my mice. I did adhere my other mouse with a little foam adhesive, and now I'm going through and tacking down anything that needs to be glued down. So I was pretty, used the glue sparing when I was trying to fill my fruit basket, but then I went in and added more. So I felt like my card needed a little something else, and so I did go to one of my all-time favorite previously released stamp sets from Lawn Fawn. This is Hey Lady, and I grabbed a little ladybug, and I die cut her to add her to one of the leaves. And then in both the um, outside in stitched strawberry and the stitched strawberry frame, you get the little strawberry flowers. So the, the flowering part 
of the strawberry plant. And I am going to die cut a couple of those. I'm going to color the centers with YR30 and 31 and layer those and add them to the card design. And I think that little touch of flower to the strawberries really adds a great little bit of interest and finishing detail to our card. And I'm just gonna glue the little yellow to the white. Super, super easy. And I used both sets for this because in the outside in stitch strawberry, they're much smaller than in the stitch strawberry frame. And I really liked having two different sizes of those flowers. So I assembled them just like that. And then let's tuck them into our plant and down next to the strawberry uh, on the ground, just like so. Oh, you guys, I can't even begin to tell you how much I love this whole set. And I realize I think that strawberry is not tacked down very good. So we can go ahead and glue that guy down as well. Reverse tweezers can be your best friend for clamping things in place um, and also holding on to small die cut pieces like I'm doing here. All of that good stuff. I highly recommend a good pair of reverse tweezers. Today I'm using both Spellbinders and Honeybee stamps. And let's add that last one. Okay, next we are going to be creating a slimline scene card. So I knew instantly when I saw all of the strawberry products that I wanted to create a strawberry house out of the stitched strawberry frame. And that's gonna require going back to a previously released Lawn Fawn set, the pumpkin house, and using some components from that. So first off, let's start with our stitched large slimline uh, with sliders set that I'm using and I die cut some smooth white cardstock and I am going to go ahead and ink up some slimline clouds using the slimline cloudy stencil and that same cadet ink that I used on the first card. So super similar here that I sped up the video since I'm basically doing the same thing. Now the difference between the first card and the second card is I'm going to die cut layers for the rest of this design. And that's because I wanna use the brand new Slimline Picket Fence Border. I'm gonna die cut that from Smooth White cardstock. And I'm also gonna die cut from Smooth White cardstock another one of these stitched rectangles. And from that, die cut a Slimline Grassy Hillside Border. And we're going to ink up the border with green ink. By die cutting, we can then incorporate some tucking elements, which I love to do when building a scene. For the first card with so much foam adhesive, I tried to find ways to eliminate that. On this card, we're going to add layers. And that way I can tuck strawberries because I want this to look like a berry patch with this little um, strawberry house and all of these mice out in the strawberry patch. So that was kind of my thinking behind this. I know if you have been here for a while, I talk about this a lot when I do scene building, that I imagine a story in my head a lot of times when I'm scene building, and that is how I come up with the scenes that I'm doing. So that's kind of the, the thought process, I guess, behind this card. Here is my border. I'm just inking up again with our two colors of ink, which we determined are Spring and Lucky. Perfect names for a spring themed card. I also stuck my finger right in the ink pad. Literally, you guys, I don't even know how I did that. Something Lawn Fawn does that is amazing. So those, that slimline grassy uh, border has been out for a while, but do you see how it perfectly coordinates with the new picket fence? I mean, how brilliant is that, you guys? Just like I did for the strawberries from the strawberry patch dies for the first card, I did, I colored in our strawberry stitched frame, the background and the top of the strawberry. You could definitely eliminate a little bit of work and die cut this from 
uh, colored cardstock and add some ink blending, or you could totally just do ink blending on white cardstock, whatever you want to do there. Um, I did not color the components from the pumpkin house on camera, but I have listed the colors down below, and that's going to be the little stairs leading up to the strawberry house and the door. Those two components are from the pumpkin house. You can turn any die that these will fit on into a little house, which I think is super fun. And I thought it would be really cute to have this big strawberry be a house for the mice. Now, before I add too much more to my card, I do want to take some sentiments from the very special stamp set and stamp them right here in the upper left corner of my sky. I'm going to use You Are Special and Have a Happy Birthday, but I love that there's this little uh, carrot with the word berry that you can incorporate here, and it just perfectly finishes the card. I mean, how cute is that, you guys? You are very special. Have a happy birthday. You could also have a very happy birthday. Lawn Fawn does an amazing job of having super, super versatile sets that you can build all kinds of different sentiments with. If you don't want to do a birthday card, you could have a thank you card. Thank you very much. You're totally my jam. How cute is that? Um, you could do thank you uh, so very much. You are very special. I pick you. That's just one stamp set. And then, of course, the How You Bean Strawberries add-on has a lot more. Um, you are very awesome. Um, happy birthday. Have a very happy birthday. Very sweet. A sweet friend. You are such a sweet friend. All kinds of great things. So these are the strawberry patch dies that I was talking about that I love, love, love from the first card. I am using markers in G0002 and 09 to color in the leaves and the tops of the strawberries. This is a little bit closer look at how I did my coloring for that. I wanted to make sure and leave that in so you could see the coloring of these components. Part of the reason I wanted to color in everything for these two cards with Copic markers is I feel like it coordinates back to the mice and the other outline images that I'm using for my cards really nicely. So I am just uh, feathering this in. I want to not over blend the greenery here for the leaves. Just like so. And again, I will be doing this for all of the greenery. It's going to be colored very similarly. I wanted to do a slimline style card today so that I could really add a lot of different components and stretch out that scene. Slimline cards are fantastic for giving you a lot of real estate to build an in-depth scene design. You could definitely scale this down just a little bit and create a standard A2 size card in a landscape format very easily. Now I'm going to take our 30, 32, and 35 and we're going to color in our strawberries. This is how I colored in all the strawberries for the first card. This is how I colored in the strawberry house, the door for the strawberry house, all of that good stuff. I do recommend that you have a scrap piece of paper underneath where you're coloring if you are going to color in your die cuts to protect your work surface. So cute, you guys. I love it. And see, by having those die cut borders, I can then start tucking different things in front of and back behind either the fence, the grass, or both. And then the tops of the strawberries are colored just like the leafy pieces. Super quick and easy coloring. Okay, we are going to skip over now and color in the mice and sign. I wanted to show you how I colored all these in. Now there are only three mice in the Berry Special Stamp Set, but Lawn Fawn has lots and lots of awesome little mice images. So I actually grabbed one from Bubbles of Joy and another one from the Dandy Day. And we're also going to be using one 
mouse from each of those. So definitely look at your Lawn Fawn sets and see if you have other images that might work with the new ones. Lawn Fawn is amazing at this that you can always go back and use your past Lawn Fawn stamp sets with your new ones to complete brand new scenes and cards. I think it's probably one of my all-time favorite things about Lawn Fawn in addition to just the cute factor. I'm using E. 81, 84, and 87 for these three mice. These first three mice that I'm coloring are from the brand new Berry Special stamp set. The other two are gonna be from Dandy Day and Bubbles of Joy, and I'm actually gonna color those mice with warm grays so we have a little bit of variety. I want to have lots of little mice in our berry patch and I want to have one kind of peeking out of the door of the strawberry house. Um, that's going to be the little guy who's kind of looking back over his shoulder with his arm outstretched. So now we're going to switch to warm grays for our final two mice. And I am going to incorporate some more of those Hey Lady Ladybugs into this card because I love them so much for, or love the one I added so much to the first card, I thought it would be perfect. Keep in mind though, in Berry Special, the new stamp set, there is a cute little bumblebee that would be a fantastic addition as well. Just color in both of these mice. The insides of the ears of the mice and the cheeks were colored with R30, which is that lightest color I used as the base on my strawberries. Oh, they are so cute. I know I've talked about this a lot. Anytime I do a card with mice, I love cards with mice, real mice, not so much. But these little guys are fun. and R30. Let's go ahead and color in our strawberries that these two mice are holding. That's a little R30. Then we're gonna use R35 and R32. Oh, and I did color in the little bellies of the, mi the, uh, the little gray mice. Um, I noticed I forgot. We'll color in the tops of the strawberries with G0002 and 09. There's our strawberries. And the green. Adds a nice little pop of color. And then the sign I will show the coloring since I didn't show that for the first card. I'm going to color it exactly like the first card, but I think it is a great little addition to scene building. I like that you can customize it with uh, one of the sentiments from this set or even something else if you want to. There's Berry Patch, You're Berry Sweet, Thanks So Very Much, Pick Your Own, and then there is Yum, Burp, and the little buzz for the bumblebee, which I think is cute too. So this is E55 and E57, just two colors for this little sign. After I've colored it all the way in, I'm gonna take the stamp with clear embossing and watermark ink, stamp my sentiment, and heat emboss with white embossing powder. Then we're going to die cut all of these images using the coordinating dies. So remember for the first card, the mice and sign Actually, I think I redid the sign. The mice were die cut with the brother scan and cut. So it just gives you an idea of how similar they cut. I know a lot of you have asked, um, and so I just thought I would share that. I colored these somewhere else, the, the images for the first card when I was with friends, and it was just much easier to use the scan and cut than the dies. I'm gonna take some blue markers and color in the overalls for this little mouse. I think the bright blue matches the sky so great. I love that with the, the red of the st strawberries. I really love it. And 
And then I'm using the powder tool to deactivate, stamp my little sentiment, and we will heat emboss. Then we simply have to put the card all together. The slimline style die I used for the background measures three and a half by eight and a half inches, meaning it is gonna completely cover the front of a slimline card base. So the scene is gonna go from edge to edge, top to bottom. And I'm using the leftover piece of cardstock from the grass that I used on the bottom of the card. So I always like to save all those little bits and pieces. Now we're going to start adhering everything to our card. So I've got a strawberry back behind the fence. We're gonna pop up our little mouse. He's holding a small strawberry. I love all the different sizes of strawberries here. And I like them back behind the picket fence, in front, tucked into the leaves, all of that good stuff. Lots of foam adhesive, just kind of tucking it this way and that. Here is the mouse that I want to put in the house. But I do think there needs to be something back behind the window in the door. So I'm just trimming a piece of white cardstock. And I can't even believe I nailed it the first time. Uh, it's not very pretty, but we're just gonna glue this back behind that window opening. And I like how you can't see the strawberry then. And I just did a little yellow, so it looked kind of like maybe a light's on in the house or something. And then we're just gonna glue that in place. And we're going to tuck this mouse kind of halfway out the door. Look at that, like he's uh, opening the door and saying hello. And then we're gonna have the mouse coming up the little berry patch with her arms full of strawberries, just like so. I hope you can kind of see the story taking place. And then of course, there's a great little opening here for another mouse. We're gonna tuck these strawberry images right next to the little walkway or stairs up to the strawberry house. And then just like my first card, I tried to use my glue sparingly. And as I get everything in place, I will start tacking down anything that's sticking up so that it's really good and secure. The berry patch sign is gonna go right back here. I kind of think it looks really cute tucked behind the fence into the strawberry patch. So much fun. And then I really probably should have done this before I glued everything down, but I decided to live dangerously. I'm gonna stamp the ladybug trails from the Hey Lady stamp set while um, everything is here in place. I am gonna wait to add that last mouse to my card until after I have stamped that. And I thought I would only use one of the ladybug trails, but I did end up using both. But I'll show you stamping one of them right here. I'm just gonna use a little black ink. I have it in my Misty, just like so. And then we will just tuck the little ladybug right up here. And then we're going to pop this little mouse standing on top of the strawberry. She's taken a, or he has taken a huge bite out of that strawberry. We're gonna add some little detail to the spots on the ladybugs and to the eyes on the mice with a black jelly roll pen. We'll take a white pen and add some dot detail to all of the cheeks on our mice. Something I like to do when a door pops open like this on a card and it's not really an interactive element, I do put like some little foam adhesive back behind the door so it stays nice and secure and you can't really open it, but it does look a little propped open. I didn't think the word berry stamped very nicely and so I did trace over that with a black pen. I did that as well. And then instead of die cutting the doorknob for the house, I'm actually going to use a heart for that instead. And just like my first card, I think some little strawberry flowers will be a great finishing touch scattered about our little strawberry patch here. So those are going to be just kind of tucked here and there. I have one big one and two small ones just like before. and a little dab of glue. I did grab a little black clay heart. I thought I'd use white, but I didn't feel like it stood out very good. So I like this little black one much, much better. 
And that gives me my heart accent for my strawberry house. So here is a quick look at both finished cards. There is the slimline card. I will flip this over. I should also mention and snip off those leaves hanging off the bottom of my card. That's what I'm gonna do real quick. Um, that's going to help it be nice and flush along the bottom edge, but I'm gonna leave the top of the strawberry as is. And here is the reveal wheel card. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for these two strawberry themed cards featuring brand new products from the Lawn Fawn Spring 2022 release. I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to my Patreon members. If you would like to become a member of Patreon, you can click the link in the description below. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Lawn Fawn that you might be interested in. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to always be notified when I have a new card making video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and we'll see you next time.